What's going on guys? John Alder here from CodingMe.com and in this video, we're going to modify our map app for Kinter and Python. All right guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to modify our map app. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodingMe.com where I have dozens of courses with thousands of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off memberships, all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee, which is insanely cheap. Okay, like I said, in this video, we're going to modify the map app. It just sounds funny. The map app that we worked on in the last video. So in the last video, we just hard coded it in to show an address. In this video, we're going to add this little form here so we can type in something. You know, type in Chicago, click look up, boom, it'll look it up. We've got this slider so we can zoom in and zoom out and do all the things. And that's what we're going to do in this video. So let's head over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and the Git Bash Terminal, as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other Kinter videos in this series, over 200. So check that out if you haven't so far. So I've got the code from our last video. I've just renamed it map2.py. And let's come down here. And underneath where we packed in our map widget, let's just start building stuff out. So I'm going to call this my underscore frame. Let's create a frame that's going to be a label frame. We want to put it in root and then let's my underscore frame dot pack this guy. And let's give this a pad Y of like 10 or so to push it down the screen a little bit. While I'm at it, let's make the entire app a little bit longer, you know, a little bit more height. So this will all fit on there. I'll change that to 800. Okay, so inside this frame, we just want to add a few things. First, we need an entry box. I'm just going to call this my entry. And that's going to be an entry box. We want to put it in my underscore frame. And let's give this a font of Helvetica with a size of like 28 and make a nice and big box. And then let's my underscore entry dot grid this guy. And since we're inside a frame, even though everything else in our app has been packed, we can grid inside of a child widget. So let's go row equals zero, column equals zero. Let's give this a pad Y of like 20 and a pad X of like 10. Okay. Now we're going to need a button. Let's just call this my underscore button. And it's going to be a button. We want to put it in my underscore frame. We want the text to equal, let's say, look up. And let's also give this a font of Helvetica with a size of like 18 or so. And we also want to give this a command of look up. Now we don't have a look up function yet. So let's go ahead and really quickly just create that. Come up to the top of our app here, any old where. And let's define lookup. And for now, we'll just pass. Okay. So let's my underscore button dot grid this guy and put that in row zero, column one. So we'll just push it over a little bit. And let's also give this a pad X of 10. Okay. So we also want a slider on our screen so that we could slide our map and zoom in and out. So let's go my underscore slider. And this is going to be a TTK. Well, actually, first, let's just make a regular scale and just see what it looks like. And then we'll change it to a TTK scale, which looks a little nicer in just a second. So that we want to put that in my underscore frame. We want it to start from, so we go from underscore and set that equal to, let's start it at four. So it doesn't zoom out too far. You know, this is just a personal preference. And we want it to zoom into, let's say, 20. You can play around with these numbers to make them whatever you want. We want it to be orient to horizontal. So we want it to go left and right. And we want to give this a command of, let's say slide, right? And again, we don't have a slide command yet. So let's come up here and create it real quick. So let's define slide. Remember with a slider, we always have to pass in an E because it's a, you know, an event that when every time you slide it, it becomes an event. So we have to pass that E in there. Call it anything you want, but it's an event. So I'm going to call it E. Okay, we'll just pass for now. Finally, let's my underscore slider dot grid this guy. And we want row equals zero, column equals two. And let's also give this a pad X of 10. While we're at it with this slider, let's give it a default value we want it to start on. Let's just give it a value of say 20. And also let's give it a length, length of 220. So that'll make it longer. So it won't be a little slider, it'll be you know slightly longer. Uh, it's all relative, but that'll look nicer. So, so okay, let's go ahead and save this and run it. See if it looks okay. That's map2.py. So head over to our terminal I'm in my C GUI directory. And let's go Python map2.py. And something has gone horribly wrong. Ah, the scale value 
the scale widget doesn't have a value function. So only the TTK one does. So let's head back over to our code. We can fix that real quick. Uh, let's see, go over to the slider. And for now, let's just go like this and comment the rest of this out. Okay, just to see if this looks okay. Run this guy again. Okay, the map doesn't seem to be coming in. Must be a glitch at the moment with the internet. And here's our scale thing, which doesn't look great. That's the regular Kinter scale. Let's change that to the TTK scale real quick, just because it looks much nicer. So I'm going to check that off. And let's come over here and let's change this to a TTK.scale. And we're going to have to import that. So let's go from tkinter import TTK. Okay, so now if we go ahead and save this and run it, we say, okay, that looks good. We've got a slider. Now this map isn't showing up at the moment because right now it looks like there's a problem connecting to openstreetmap.org. Maybe their website is down at the moment or something. No big deal. We can go ahead and keep working on this, but we can see this looks pretty good and that seems to work. And then we've got a form here and that seems to work and we're good to go. So, okay, now, what we want to do is work on the slider. So we can see down here, we can set the zoom level right here fairly easily, just with this map underscore widget dot set zoom and then passing in any number. Well, instead of passing in a number, we're going to pass in the slider position, which is between four and 20, right? So that's pretty simple. We just come up here and just paste in that thing. And instead of passing a number here, we're just going to pass in my underscore slider dot get. And that's really kind of all there is to it. Same thing here with the lookup function. We could set the address to anything we want, just like this. We did this in the last video. So if we come up here and paste this in, but instead of passing in a hard coded address, we could just pass in my underscore entry dot get, and that should work. Now, when I do that, I also want to change the position of the slider because by default, it will give a fairly zoomed out view. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here to the my slider, I'm just going to copy this. And we're just going to config this guy. So I'm going to go my slider dot config. And then I'm just going to set the value of where the slider is to like nine. Right? So okay, that should work. Let's go ahead and save this and run it and see if this works. And let's run this guy again. Yeah, all right, it looks like it works now. And let's head over to Las Vegas, or wherever. Boom, you'll notice the slider pops down automatically. We've got a nice view of Las Vegas here. If we grab this guy and zoom in, and we can definitely do that. We can zoom back out. Very cool. And that's all there is to it. So pretty simple to add a slider and a lookup form here. We've done Las Vegas here. We can, you know, 10 West Elm, Chicago, Illinois, uh, 60610, I think was the thing. You know, you can be very specific. Yep, there it is, my old address in Chicago way back when. We could still use the scroll button on our mouse. And when we do, this doesn't change. So maybe you want to kind of use binding to do that. I have videos on bindings, but we'll leave that for now. And uh, yeah, looks pretty good. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. And check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off membership. So it's access to all my courses, over 50 courses, thousands of videos, and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 150,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com, and I'll see you in the next video.